this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything y'all do for the 2A community. I appreciate all the comments and likes and stuff. Appreciate everything. And like I said before, the number one goal over here is to uphold the Constitution, defend the Second Amendment. With that said, now we're going to talk about the truth about concealed carry. A lot of people have been asking me questions about my opinion, just my opinion only. I've been carrying well over 15 years plus. I'm talking about, so, you know, I know a whole lot of when it comes to struggling, when it comes to concealed carry. I know a lot of y'all been carrying stuff. Um, you know, everybody have their own carry preference and stuff like that. Um, it's up to you how you carry and what's comfortable with you. I'm talking about, you know, when it comes to concealed carry people, um, you know, you're going to go through a lot of farms. You're going to go from big farm to small farm. You're going to go back and forth. You're going to go through many hostels. I'm talking about everybody whole goal is to carry and be comfortable. Um, I did that when I first started out. It was a struggle. I have a box of hostels, box of everything that people went through. I went through all kinds of hostels. It seemed nothing was right. And, you know, I went through farms. I went to big farms, small farms. I'm talking about carry full size, compact, subcompact, pocket guns. I'm talking about everything is for certain situations. But what I have learned when it comes to concealed carry, there's a lot of people who's carrying a whole lot of stuff. So they say. I'm talking about, I don't carry that much stuff. I'm talking about, honestly, I'm a three, three to five piece man. I don't carry 10 pieces and stuff, all this stuff that people are carrying. I don't know how they do it. Some people got all kinds of stuff. I'm to my, I pretty much narrow it down to keep it simple because the truth about concealed carry is a lot of people don't carry. Uh, they carry to their car and that's it. Most people don't continue to carry and when they, they go to their car or when they go to the retailers and stuff, they leave their farms in their car. That's why farms are getting stolen out of vehicles and stuff. We talked about that, um, all these situations and stuff when it comes to debt. But, you know, when you conceal carry, you need to be carrying no matter where you at. Um, to my, there are some places that's off limit. You just don't go there. I'm talking about that's, that's, that's how you solve that problem. But at the end of the day, the truth about concealed carry is most people are not carrying. But why? Because um, either they're uncomfortable or, you know, it's, it's a lot of things. You know, a lot of people... Um, when you first start out, you're looking at your printing, you know, you're looking at, you know, somebody who, you know, somebody can see the farm and stuff. You, um, you know, you're nervous that it could be a reaction, somebody called the police. I know what goes on when it comes to concealed carry. But what I carry, people, has been the same. I carry my keys, my cell phone. I was carrying a flashlight and stuff like that. But, you know, nowadays my phone has a light and stuff on it. Um, you know, sometimes I have a little light on my keys and stuff. I got a little light on my keys and everything. But at the end of the day, people, I keep it simple because, you know, I need consistency when it comes to personal protection. And that is the goal, consistency. Because, you know, a lot of people, you can go out and you can spend all the money you want to on a farm and then end up leaving at home. Uh, to my, you can have a big farm, a small farm, but the key to concealed carry. Now, this is all I carry besides my key and my phone. This is my carry setup right here. Um, I carry the G2C. I carry every every single day the G2C. I carry every single day. If you can look at my holster, you see that it is formed to my body, the way I wear it. Uh, to my, it's pretty much that form. Uh, to my, it 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 just formed to the the position that I wear it right there on my backside, on my hip. Very comfortable. Carry it all day long. Uh, to my, so I carry the G2C every day in this um, Alien Gear holster. And, you know, so I've been carrying this for a long time. This is pretty much my setup and everything. And I carry a spare magazine. That's it. I'm talking about I carry this with spare magazines. You see my magazine got this comfortability right here. It's like neoprene. My holster got this neoprene because of weather and stuff like that. It's getting hot. Can, you know, muggy weather, it's cold and stuff. You need to be comfortable because if you're carrying every day this thing on your hip, um, some of these hosts can get very uncomfortable and stuff. So you want to be comfortable. That is the key to carrying all day. But at the same time, other things that you have to do to conceal carry. Um, you have to uh, pretty much dress around it, get you longer shirts, get you more bigger shirts and stuff like that. Um, you know, do some little things to make it even more comfortable. 
Because if you're getting discouraged and caring because, you know, your shirt is not big enough or something like that, you're going to end up leaving at home. I see too many people. Now, some people say, hey, you know, they just don't care. If I'm concealed and carry, I want it to be discreet. I don't want nobody to know but me. And 99.9% .9 of the time, nobody knows that I'm caring. The only person that want that little point percent, that, that little small percentage, that, it's me. That's it, people. It's me. I go in places that I shouldn't be caring because, you know, they want to put my life at risk in, their re in the retailers and places I'm going. And, you know, no, I'm going to protect myself. So if you conceal carry like you're supposed to and you do some little things, change up your, your, your wearing, the stuff that you wear and stuff like that, you can get it done, people. It's not that hard, but it's very difficult starting out, I know, because there's so many directions you're being pulled how to conceal carry. So many hosts out there to make it to make it comfortable for you. But the problem is everybody have different body types, people. Different body types. You got people getting away with appendix carry. Up to my I can I'm not I cannot appendix carry is just not for me. Never up to my just never been for me. So up to my find that perfect uh position that, that's better for you to carry and then build on top of that. That is the goal uh for you when it comes to conceal carry. Uh, to my, you can spend all the money you want. Uh, to my, you, I see people just throwing dollars, just throwing dollars, trying to, you know, make that perfect carry. And you have company that is innovating, making some great products out there. But at the end of the day, it must work for you. That that is the goal. I'm um, talking about. You have to do a little things to to make that work. But at the end of the day, the goal is to carry people. Because like I said, the truth when it comes to concealed carry, a lot of people's not carrying. And all this stuff that I see people carrying. I'm to my, maybe they is. I'm to my giving the benefit of the doubt. But every single day, 24 7, there's going to be difficulties. And I just don't see a lot of people carrying all that stuff every single day because it's going to be hot. I'm to my, in the wintertime, you can get away with a lot of stuff. You can get away with larger farms and stuff like that. But in the summer, when it's very hot, humidity and stuff, you're sweating. That's when it gets discouraging, people. That's when it gets discouraging. And so, like I said, the G2C goes with me up to my every day, up to my, I do have other alternatives when it comes to concealed carry, um, a quick run to the store and stuff like that, but I am carrying, up to my, I'm always carrying something, and my whole goal is nobody to know people, it's very discreet, so like I said, that 99% of the time, nobody knows, the only person, the only person know is myself, that's it, and that is your goal, so just want to talk about concealed carry for a little bit for a lot of people who had questions about that. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.